Bird and welcome to another episode of Full Bar. Do you want to give your client developers access to work on your backend, but you don't want to give them AWS credentials? Do you have content managers working on your application that know nothing about AWS and you want to give them access to work on those databases so they can populate the information in your application? If that's the case, then you might be interested in this video. I will be talking about admin UI. I already covered what is admin UI in a previous episode, so you can go and check it there. Today, we are just getting into the part of granting access to non-AWS users to your application. So I will show you this with a demo that is the easiest way to get started. So the first thing you need to do is to go to your AWS console and search for AWS Amplify. Create a new AWS Amplify backend application and put a name. This is the only interaction where you need to be an AWS user and have access to create this. Then we will set up permissions and users that can access this application backend without having an AWS account and without seeing anything of what is behind all the AWS resources. So it's creating the uh, application backend and when that's ready, we continue. So this is ready now. And the first we thing we are going to go is to the admin UI management. There you can grab permissions to your developers and to your content creators. So we just put the email of, in this case, the content creator, and we give permissions to them. Manage only is the permission you want to give. Manage only will only grant them permission to add new users to the platform. And I will show you how to do that and add content to the platform. So for content creators, this is perfect. So that's the permission we want to share. Then we can do the same for our developers. And when this is ready, they are going to receive an email with a link that they need to log in and um, username and a password. So now we are adding our uh, developer and they are uh, I'm giving the full access. The full access will allow them to uh, do anything on the backend of that particular application. They receive the same email with different username and password, same link, and then they are ready to get started. So that's all we need to do with the user with AWS access. Uh, now we wait for the emails to arrive. We click on the link and then we can start working on uh, the particular users. So this is the link that the developer has received. And you will see that we will put the username is the one in the uh, in the email. Then we will put password is the one in the email. Then after you sign in, you need to change the password to something else and you're ready to get started. And this is the look of the admin UI. The content creator and the developers will have the same view, but they will see and be able to do different things. Now we are in the developer. So that's what the person with full access to the application will see. So there you can see that we are logging with the developer and we can go directly to authentication and set up some authentication in our application. So I will leave everything that is there by default. I will just uh, remove some of the password security so I can create a user without worrying too much about the password and send uh, the verification over email so I can verify my uh, user faster from my email. I wait for this to deploy and then I come back to you. So now when the deployment is done, you will see in uh, the top in the deployment successful, click for next step. One thing that you can copy paste into your application. Then uh, we copy that and that will pull the latest backend into our application. I'm pasted it in an application. I already have created the front end for it. I will leave you the code in the GitHub and that will bring the whole backend configuration to my computer. And before doing that, because this user, the developer user has no AWS credential in this computer, AWS Amplify will ask me to log in to my admin UI well, the developer in this case, to validate that is the person that it says to be. So we need to do that. 
we say yes I want to log in and blah blah if you're logged in already then it will push pull the backend from the uh, cloud and you can configure it locally and everything works the next time you want to get the changes from the backend you just run that command amplify pull and you don't need to log in anymore but that's the first time and that's the way to work with AWS in your computer without having any AWS credentials. This is great because this developer doesn't need to have any access to AWS. You don't need to worry about uh, configuring those AWS accounts into your AWS um, organizations or anything like that. It's so simple as just giving permissions on the admin UI. This is specific for this application. This will bring from the Amplify the authentication. That is the only thing we have configured. And now we can basically uh, start this application and see what happens. So now basically our application uh, is requiring username and password because I have wrapped up it, the application with this authenticator. And basically that's the way to use authentication with Amplify. If you want to know more about this, I leave you a link on the description box where I talk about adding authentication to your application. I go in details on what is happening in the backend and what is going on. But in this case, I'm just uh, creating a user and getting started with my application because I want to show you how it works uh, with different users. So I'm just creating a user for my application and that's it. We can sign out. The application is empty. So now I will add some kind of data to my application. I will make a node application. So I will add a node uh, model that is link uh, is that is secure with the Cognito user pool, basically the authentication system that we just added. And you do it that by changing the authentication uh, mode. And then I add the different uh, fields for my model and deploy. This takes a little while, the deployment, so I will fast forward until it's done. So when this is done, you can get the information from the deployment successful, click for next steps. I show you in a video on how to do it and what it means, all of the different bits and pieces. So I will not go into the details, but I will just pull the, um, the environment so we can uh, get the model into our application and that will bring the API uh, category into our application. So you can see it there and you can also see it in the Amplify directory. Now we have this API. We also have the models folder and now we can add nodes in our application. The application is already configured using all the uh, information that Amplify is telling me. So for example, for adding a node and deleting and listing the nodes, I have created components and those components are, are available in the GitHub repo. We can see for adding a node, I'm using the data store. And this is a little bit interesting. The data stores uh, allows me to have a local store in my uh, computer in this case, that is storing in the browser all the information that is coming uh, from the cloud. This is great for doing offline applications because then if the connection is lost, the database is local and it will sync in the backend. So this is how AppSync Admin UI works. And we will check, we can check the, the local database in our browser. If you want to know where it is, you just go to inspect the code and then to the application. And there you can see the database. So if we open there, then you can see the user node database. It has two elements and those are the nodes with all the information. So that's pretty cool. The more nodes you add, the, the more information there is in the uh, application database. The same if you remove a node, then it will get removed from the database. So that's how it works. So now we can go back to our admin UI and log in with the um, content creator. We put the password and then we need to create a new password because it's the first time it's login and everything that we did for the developer. So now for this uh, user, we will only be able to see two things. That is the content management and the user management. 
and then we will be able to create a new user. We can put a, a password, a temporary password, and then the user can uh, connect and they need to give a new password and verify their email if you want to and all that. And this is a great way to add users to your system. For example, if you want to import some users or you want to create some test users. Also, we can um, add content. In this case, we can add notes directly from the content management. And there I can basically create new notes and those will be appearing in our application. So this is great uh, if you want to manage the content for all your backends in, in one place. So yes, totally. Um, simple way to to do this and if you are writing for example a blog post this has markdown so you can do quite interesting <laughs> interesting things but for now i just add this note and then if i refresh my page the note will appear and it will also appear in the uh, browser database because this is coming from the data store if i remove that note then that will be removed in the administrator view so this is uh, pretty neat so yeah, that's the video for me today. I wanted to show you how this works and uh, show you how you can get started with admin UI and having multiple users working on this uh, backend. So I see you in the next episode of Uber. Ciao, ciao.